Hello, my name is Sarah Coit. I'm a mezzo-soprano. I'm originally from Spring Hill, Florida. I got my undergraduate degree at the University of South Florida and my master's at the University of Michigan, and I am a resident artist with Utah Opera. I took piano when I was younger. I wasn't uh, quite uh, maybe good, I guess. Um, and I did. I played flute in middle school band, and then I really wanted to do theater. And someone who was teaching theater in my hometown suggested that I try voice lessons. And I went, and I enjoyed it. I'd never really done it before, and uh, I decided to pursue it in college along with a theater degree, and I ended up liking it better and choosing it as a career. So being a mezzo-soprano means I'm a little bit lower than a soprano. My vocal color, or just the sound of my voice, is a little bit darker. Um, a contralto is a little bit lower than me, quite a bit lower, actually. Um, in opera, those singers play uh, witches or old ladies, fun characters like that. But I'm a mezzo-soprano, which is a little bit higher, and I tend to sing either the soprano's friend or flirty ladies or young men. My personal range for my voice uh, in public, I'll sing from a G below middle C to a high C, and I think that's pretty typical of my voice type. Staying confident before auditions can be hard, but I have a couple of things that I like to think about. Um, there's a thing you can do called power posing, where you make yourself as big as possible, and you, you, know, you'll, you can go stand in a bathroom stall and be like, Ugh. and it raises your testosterone levels and makes you feel calm and more confident. Um, someone once told me that auditioning is the opportunity for you to show the panel how much you love to sing. So you go in, you have your black binder, and you have um, your resume and a list of five arias that you offer, and you'll usually start with the one that you pick, not always, um, so, and you'll sing that, and hopefully they'll pick another one of a contrasting style. They may not, but if you do, you sing the other one, and even better, sometimes they'll ask you for a third. Um, but it all depends. Every, every audition is a little bit different. My favorite periods of music to sing are really, really, really early. I love to sing Baroque and really new. I love contemporary music. And a lot of times I think those two are quite similar, but those, those two really light my fire. For me, the mechanism that I use in both uh, contemporary and Baroque singing are kind of similar. Not always, but I always, my, my brain is the same for those. There's sometimes you have to put on your, your romantic brain or your Mozart brain and you're thinking about certain things. But those two, it's usually very character driven. And the, I, I love being able to listen to the, the interesting uh, chord changes and things like that. And I think they're, they're, they both, I react to both of them in a pretty similar way. Apri voze 